Alright, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the title, we are doing um, every book I've read in 2022 video. Um, my goal for this year was 100 books. That did not happen. Slumps came in the way. Depressive episodes got in the way. Basically, a lot of stuff went in the way and my goal did not get there. But I did read 50 books, so I guess I hit half of my goal. This year though, 2023, I'm going to read 100 books, okay? I am determined to do it. So I'm going to go through all the books that I've read. There's four huge stacks here that are starting to fall. Um, yeah, she's not doing great. Yeah, we're gonna go through the stacks of books that I um, read and basically in order of how I read it. So we're gonna be starting from the beginning till now. Um, yeah, sorry, let's get into it. I'm not going to explain anything. I'm just going to show you guys the books, talk about if I DNF them or not, and then that's pretty much it. So let's get into it. All right, first book we have here is Waiting to Score by Eloise Tynan. I'm still waiting for the other books. So this first one, The Cheat Sheet, Sarah Adams, This is Friends to Lovers. I'm not going to even explain all of them. Ugly Love by Colin Hoover. I finally read it this year. It took me so long, so long um, and it was traumatic, so... Yep, Where the Bad Girls Go to Fall. This is the second book in a three book series by Holly Renee. Really love this series. I also read the third book, which is Where Bad Boys Are Ruined. And again, by Holly Renee, third book in the series. Um, I finished the Dirty Air series, which is my favorite series ever. So this is Wrecked, which is the third book in the series by Lauren Asher. Love it. I also read Redeemed, which is the fourth book in the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher. I read the St. Michael's Duet book. This is Interference um, by Harlow Cole. This is a brother's best friend book. Um, again, it's a two book series. So we have Interference and then um, Stealing Home. This is like the continuation, but as they're older, again, by Harlow Cole called Stealing Home. My favorite book of all time, which is Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. This book, just killed me. It just literally just took my soul and everything. Um, yeah, loved it. Uh, we have the Twisted series by Anna Huang. It definitely took me a minute to read this. Everyone was telling me to, and I finally got it. So we have Twisted Love, Twisted Games, which is the second one, Twisted Hate, Twisted Lies. I think this one was definitely my favorite in the entire series. So, yep, that was that. Next pile, what do we have here? This pile here, we have a couple DNFs in this pile. Um, Wait For You by Jennifer L. Armentrot. I read this like four times already, so I just reread it again. We have the Summer I Turned Pretty um, trilogy by Jenny Han. I'm so excited for the series, the next season, you guys. So we have the Summer I Turned Pretty. It's not summer without you. We'll always have Summer. Again, the Summer I Turned Pretty. And we have There Are No Saints. This is like the duet. Um, by Sophie Lark. So this is what I read. And then the second book, There Is No Devil by Sophie Lark. I actually DNF this. I haven't finished. My bookmark is still in it. I'm like debating whether or not I want to finish it. But considering it's been almost a year, I probably will not finish it. The Dreamland Billionaires by Lauren Asher. She's like my favorite author. So this is the first book in the series called The Fine Print. The Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher. This is the second book. Um, we have Darling Venom by Parker S. Huntington. This does have a lot of trigger warnings, so, but it was really, really good. The Stand-In by Lily Chu. Really cute rom-com book. Write Me Off by Brandy Davis. I wrote this one off. I DNF this. Um, I was almost done it too. Look, I still have my bookmark. I was almost done it and I couldn't do it. It was so repetitive. Yeah, no. A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. This one was thick. I'm honestly like, but the words are pretty spaced out, but this one was thick. Like she was thick. Okay, that's the next pile. I think this pile, I really got into like my rom-com type of era in this one. Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter, one of my favorite books. I read this actually twice this year. A Night Like This by Lindsay Kelk. 
there. A Love Songs and Other Lies by Jessica Peddington here. I actually read this one and I thought I didn't, so I ended up rereading it. All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I definitely was in my Colleen Hoover era this year. Um, yeah, but I had to take a break because it was giving me some, you know? Um, we have November 9th by Colleen Hoover. Finally read Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. Very good book. Very cute. Um, this is a Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter. She was definitely one of my top um, authors this year. We have Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover here. The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata. I finally picked this up and it was such a good slow burn book. Um, I actually really love this. Maybe Not, which is a novella by Colleen Hoover with the Maybe Someday series. And then I read Maybe Now by Colleen Hoover. I finally picked up Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. This book will hold a place in my heart forever. I loved it. Um, I don't know why I waited so long, but it is actually so worth it. We're getting on to the last pile of the video. Normal by Danielle Pearl. I actually read this on my phone and then I got the hard copy. So this is what we have. Um, and this one I think has trigger warnings as well. So we have this one. Okay, which is the second part of that series by again, Danielle Pearl. Um, again, it's just the second part of that book. Read It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. Obviously everyone and their mom read this book this year. This one was actually a new book that came out. It's called The Deal Dilemma by Megan Brandy. And we have another Anna Huang book. It's called King of Wrath. I'm very excited for the series. I'm waiting for the next book. We have Chasing Love by KT Mason. Um, this is this one. I honestly can't even tell you. I think I kind of fast read through this, like AKA kind of DNF'd it. I actually finished it, but I did not, I couldn't read it. Like, I, yeah, I just kind of skimmed through it. I was like, yep, 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 yep. But I did finish it, but I kind of DNF'd it because I skipped through it. Yeah, <laughs> basically like fast forwarding a movie. A Vow of Hate by Layla James. The Do Over by Lynn Painter. Like I said, Lynn Painter was one of my top authors this year. I finally read The Love Hypothesis. You guys have been waiting for me to read it by Allie Hazelwood and I actually really liked it. I thought it was super cute. I am still needing to read Love on the Brain, so that'll probably be a part of my 2023. And the last one I finished was The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. Um, this is my five star reads and honestly it was pretty much my last full book for the year But yeah, this one I loved it. It was really good And then this one is just kind of like a poem book. It's called the broken bypass um, It's actually by Bruce Martin and he's actually my cousin. So it was really beautiful. Honestly um, It's kind of like a story like about relationships and poems definitely check this out um, it's super cool that I know like an author like what okay that was cool and then the book that I'm currently reading I have not finished it is you've reached Sam by Dustin Tao I don't know how if I'm saying that properly or not but I literally just started it like I'm only on page 11 so I probably will finish this um like in the next day or so which will finish my 2022 reading um list because it's the 27th of December now so that'll probably be my, my last book for the year, but that was all my books for 2022. All of these books I still need to read, so hopefully we get through them for 2023. Like I said, I was hoping to read 100 books this year. I probably wouldn't have finished all these, but life got in the way, so hopefully. If your TBR list isn't humongous, like I don't, like are you even a reader? Like you know if you're a reader, your TBR list is huge, but um, you guys let me know what your reading list was and what your favorite books were for this year in the comments down below. Also, if you have any recommendations for me, let me know in the comments. I will leave all the books that I read for 2022 in my Amazon, which will be in the down bar below. But I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below. I love y'all. Don't forget to love yourself. Until next time, I'll see ya later. Peace out, scouts. Bye!